Hi everybody, this is Michael Coates here in the First Solar Weather Center. So today we're kind of just stuck with that cloud cover. We could see a few um, light snow showers and flurries for tonight. Uh, we're seeing some of that cloud cover, especially in the places uh, like in Idaho Falls, uh, Rexburg right now, kind of dreary, and also back through Teton County tonight. We got some cloud cover hanging in here and that's producing a few light flakes, but nothing major. We do have a Pacific Northwest storm system on the way here, but in typical fall weather fashion, this is not gonna be a major storm. We're gonna see the winds pick up off that cold front. We're expecting to see some scattered snow showers rolling in here. A lot of the heavy stuff though is gonna be skirting to the north of us. As we get into Wednesday, area of low pressure settles on in as the jet stream falls to the south, keeping our temperatures pretty chilly outside. For Thursday, we're gonna have some leftovers, if you wanna use that pun for Thursday, Thanksgiving. Uh, leftover snow showers here for your Thursday as that low continues to sag further into Nevada and southern Utah, but high pressure building along the west coast will slowly start to work in by this weekend. Vipercast, we are looking for clouds and showers to start creeping into central Idaho and western Montana by tomorrow morning. We'll see a rain-snow mix out towards Boise, and then we'll be looking for more of those passing snow showers throughout the day here for tomorrow. This is not going to be a major snowstorm. In fact, you even see a little bit of rain mixed in with the snow for the Snake River Plain, and we're expecting to see most of that snow really favor the high country, and we'll get on the uh, ski slopes with some good snow, but in the Snake River Plain, passing snow showers throughout your Wednesday, some leftover snow showers and snow flurries for Thursday with mostly cloudy skies and chilly temperatures for your Thanksgiving Day itself. Snowfall amounts at this point are still looking to be rather low, with about an inch or less in the Snake River Plain, a couple of good inches around Island Park, Driggs, and West Yellowstone, but again, even for the mountains, this is not going to be a major major snowstorm, but it will slow you down a little bit if you're going to the north into Montana and also if you're heading out towards Jackson over those mountain passes. The eight-day forecast, well, we'll leave you in the upper 30s, low 40s tomorrow for Pocatello and areas around Idaho Falls and the Snake River Plain, upper 30s, lower 40s, with dropping temperatures in here for Thanksgiving Day. We expect to clear out nicely by the weekend with highs rebounding into those mid to upper 30s by this Sunday. From the First Alert Weather Center, meteorologist Michael Coates will have a complete wrap-up tonight at 5 and 6 on Channel 8 and also at 10 o'clock. And then over on Channel 3, we'll be on live at 5.30 and again at 10 o'clock. We'll see you then.